surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I was asked on how to cover up fan blades in a rental. As I was carrying out my research on beautiful designs to use to cover fan blades, I saw these nice looking pieces on Amazon and at Home Depot. These are interesting designs that I love to use to make the blade covers. Blades usually light in weight. So I took that into consideration and what I started doing was to measure up the size of the blades that I have in my home. I'll be using these measurements to guide me in making the blade covers. This is the idea that I found on Pinterest on how to easily have your blade cover attached to the blades. And with these measurements, I'm going to be using a foam board because a foam board is strong enough for the design and then most importantly, it is light in weight as well. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I have the shape that I want. So the next thing I'm going to do is make points at where the band that's going to hold the blades will be. I'll be gluing down the ends of a cutout trim on those points using a hot glue gun. You can also use a cutout leather for this part as well. As I'm doing this, I'm making sure that there's enough allowance for the blade to go through it. I have four blades on the ceiling fan, so I'm going to be making four of this. The blades that I have on the fan are kind of thick. So I'm going to give enough allowance for it for now. And then if it's too loose, I can always adjust it. That's all there is to it, guys. And you just slide it in as easy as that. Now, as you can see, it's kind of loose and you don't want it to be loose or else the fan is going to be on and everything's going to fly off. So I'm going to make it tighter. I'm also going to be decorating the board. And remember, whatever you do to your board, it must be light in weight so you don't put on too much weight on the fan. This is what it looks like. Just plain boards on the fan. Now I'm going to take them down and add a wallpaper to it. And I'll be using the pattern here as the pattern in the middle of all four boards.
you can use any of the contact paper of your choice. I decided to just go with this one because I'm interested to see what it's going to look like when it's on the fan. After I mounted it on the blades, I decided to make another one and spray paint it pink just to see what it's going to look like. I mean, this is so easy to make that I can do it over and over and over again. I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to be making a larger blade cover. I then drew the lines in the middle for where the blades are going to be. The length down here is longer than the first design and that's because I want all the pieces to appear on the fan like a floral piece. Now I spray painted it silver on one side and then I'm going to take a little piece of board that I had cut out that looks like a little petal for a flower and I'm going to draw a shape of it on the board and then cover the inside of the shape with Mod Podge. Now I'm going to sprinkle crushed mirror glass on it. I put a standing fan over it to dry and after some few hours, I put another layer of Mod Podge to seal in the pieces. I covered the edges with mirror reflective paper. Now because the Mod Podge that I used on it was thick, it didn't dry properly, as you can see white patches on it. But then I inserted it into the fan blades and it looks so beautiful. This design, even though it turned out so pretty, is kind of heavy and it's because of the crushed mirror glass. So I'll recommend something a little bit lighter for the design in the middle. I'll be making another design and this time around it's going to be a leaf shaped design. After drawing out the size of the blade on one side, I turned it over and then made points by the side where I'll be drawing multiple lines for the design. I'll be tracing out all of the lines with the hot glue gun. When I was done, I used the hot glue gun to make another design down here. I did this for all four boards and then I took it out and I spray painted them all gold. And then I mounted them on the fan. And I absolutely love the way it looks. It's a leaf design, but I didn't want it to look too much like a leaf. And I didn't want it to look like wood either, so I chose plain gold to make it look unique, and that's what I got. Like I said earlier, the designs have to be tightly attached to the blades to make sure that they stay in place even when the fan is on. Now this is how all three designs look like together. I am so in love with all three designs and the cool thing about this is that you can use whichever contact paper you like and whichever designs you like. But remember, they all have to be light in weight. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.